Doing this is uh, Lupo, he's a Dutch Shepherd, Dutch and Malinois, Malinois mix, and he's a trained protection dog and a bomb dog, so he's a dual purpose dog. So in this scenario, we're going to have Miguel, who's a decoy. Um, I think I'm going to be walking down the street. Miguel's going to jump out of behind that structure over there. He's going to show a threat, which is a threat to my dog. If someone comes out and shows a threat, my dog understands he's trained to defend, and he will offensively go and bite the perpetrator. How can you yeah, so train a dog to Everybody defend? Is, you know, <laughs> um, Service. How, yeah. how do they know when to defend and when not to attack a, a person that is no harm? Right, great question. So first thing is genetics. So we have to make sure we're dealing with the right genetics, just like um, a baseball player. Uh, they have to have the genetics to be a baseball player. A uh, dog has to have the right genetics to be balanced in the head, to have a certain level of defense, have a certain level of prey drive, and a certain level of fight drive. And then there's training, training in the environment. So we teach him what a threat is versus what's not a threat. So it's been through stages of years. This dog's a four-year-old dog now. So he's had years of training and working in different scenarios with different decoys, different levels of threat. And on the other side, understanding of in a social environment. So people walk up to him, they can pet him. He's a clear dog. So that's been genetics number one, and then environment training number two. So you cannot bring any breed of dog to be trained for protection? Absolutely not. And it's, it's sometimes it's not only the breed, it's the individual dog. You can take a, a breed that is known to be a protection breed, but most of them aren't today. You know, so you have to find the right, the right individual dog within that breed. So when a dog attacks a person on the street, a, a dog that's not trained, what do you think is a motivation? It could be aggression, it could be defense, it could feel a threat, it could be possessiveness. So dogs are animals, so they have a certain level of aggression. So where you use that aggression, if they're not trained, can turn to that behavior. But we take the aggression and channel it in the right direction so the dog understands what's right and what's wrong. But they don't know that they're protecting you. It's just a reaction. It, it could be possessiveness. They could be possessing you. So if they feel like it's their territory and they're owning you and then they're creating possession, which is going through aggression. Oh, my full name is Joseph Secreti. I'm the owner of Maximum Canine. Joseph? Secreti. 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 Secreti.